So you have to ask yourself, do you think human creativity matters? Well, hmm, most people don't spend a lot of time thinking about poetry, right? They have a life to live and they're not really that concerned with Allen Ginsberg's poems or anybody's poems until their father dies. They go to a funeral, you lose a child. Um, somebody breaks your heart, they don't love you anymore. And all of a sudden you're desperate for making sense out of this life. And has anybody ever felt this bad before? How did they come out of this cloud? Or the inverse, something great. Um, you meet somebody and your heart explodes. You love them so much you can't even see straight. You know, you're dizzy. Did anybody feel like this before? What is happening to me? And that's when art's not a luxury, it's actually sustenance. We need it. I want to talk to you today for a little bit about happiness. Have you ever stopped to think about what makes you happy or unhappy? Well, today I want to talk to you about it. I want you to think. I'll bet that if you're honest, there's probably an area of your life that you feel pretty darn good about, right? If you're not happy with how you're spending your money, maybe you're happy about uh, your relationships, how you spend time with your kids or your family members. Or if you're not feeling good about that, maybe you're feeling really good about your career. Or maybe you're feeling really good about how you take care of yourself physically, like uh, you're in really great shape or you like are really physically fit. If that's not happening, maybe you feel really good about your connection with God. Maybe you feel a closeness there. Almost everybody has an area of their life that they can feel happy about. So what's an area of your life that you can feel proud about today? If you stop to think, I bet there's a few areas that you can identify. Do we create these stories and these archetypes or these blueprints, right, for our life, how it's supposed to be going? Like you think if I just work really hard at school, then I'll get a good job and then, you know, I'll be really successful in business and I can make a lot of money, be flying in the jet planes and look like all the Instagram posts. Or maybe you're uh, thinking about, hey, I want to meet somebody. I want to meet this uh, perfect someone, this man or this woman. I want to get married. I want to have kids, two or three kids, and I want to have a white picket fence and I want to live happily ever after. Well, I've told a lot of stories, in case you haven't noticed, and I can tell you one thing. Not all of them in the same way. All in differently. But in the midst of all of these endings, there's a way that we can still be happy. So you thought about this area of your life where you feel really good, right? You can feel proud. Maybe it's that uh, you work really hard in school, or maybe you've got a really good job, or maybe you feel like you're, uh, you know, making a lot of money and being responsible. Or maybe you feel this closeness with your family, or maybe you're physically fit, or maybe you're, you know, it's one of those areas. I want you to ask yourself a question: Why do you feel so good about that area? Why? Why do you think you're happy with that area today? First of all, it's probably because you've worked really hard and improving that area or spending a lot of time and attention there, right? You see, happiness comes when our life conditions match our blueprint, when when uh, what you envisioned for your life matches the things that you're seeing displayed. If you have an area of your life where it's not meeting, you're not feeling very happy. So I'm gonna give you three options today that you can do if you're not experiencing happiness in one of these areas. Number one, you can choose to work really hard to improve one of those life conditioned areas. You can start to, you know, actually go to the gym. You can start to spend your money less and be more responsible with your money. You can choose to learn how to become a better husband or a better father or a better mother or sister or whatever it is. You can work really hard. And then when you achieve some success, you can look back and you can be proud of yourself. You will feel very happy. Number two. Your second option is you can change your blueprint or that idea that you had in that area of your life. You can say, you know, I always envisioned that this was gonna be the case, but it's just not. So I'm gonna change how I think and I'm gonna be okay with how I am. Maybe I'm not gonna be the most physically fit person in the room. Maybe I'm not gonna be the best of finances, but you know what, I'm okay with pretty good. Okay, I'm not gonna really worry about that or allow it to cause me unhappiness. Okay, you can change your blueprint about the idea that you had, the story that you had already written in your head, you can change that story in your mind. Number three, you can change nothing. 
You cannot change the blueprint. You cannot change the life conditions. And then you will remain unhappy. I don't recommend number three. So I hope that you will choose either one or two and choose to be happy. And I wish you all the best. Catch you next time.